Hey guys, uh, this is Carlos. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Prettier with Beam. Um, Prettier is a tool that allows you to uh, format your code. This is a little controversial topic uh, because uh, people get uh, very emotional about the way he, the way he's about his weight of writing code so um but there are we when we are coding we have a lot of tiny decisions uh we, we do all the time uh, we have to we, we have to think about indentation uh to use quotes or double quotes empty lines and we can let uh prettier uh solve of that things for us basically let Prairie handle all that and give us uh, the code a, a good looking code and readable code so um, this doesn't the Prairie doesn't solve the the tabs versus spaces war and all those things but uh, by default you Prairie uses uh, spaces uh, but anyway you can change that to tabs if you want to um so yeah let's see how prettier works with beam i'm going to show you i already have um there's a plugin called beam prettier i already have it have it installed on my computer but i i'm going to show you how to to basically do the whole process uh, in a frame in a fresh install but let's let's open css file here so i can show you how prettier works uh, this looks good it could be better so if we save this file you can see i we can see a, a, some improvements in the in the style and if this code was really bad indented like this prettier will also fix that let's open a js file to see how I, how I, how pretty works with that um for example, let's save this file, and you can see Prettier does a lot of little fixes, so that the code looks a lot better now. Uh, by default, Prettier comes with two spaces, but I like to use four spaces for indentation. Um, so yeah, so now let's see how how we can install Prettier with Beam. Uh, I'm going to use a fresh uh, Ubuntu virtual machine using Vagrant. So here it's I'm using Ubuntu 17.10. Um, so I I already have BI here. Yeah, BI version eight, which I think is the latest one. Um, so the the first thing we need to do is to to install uh, a plugin manager. I use Bundle for for installing plugins in Beam. So let's do that. It's, it's really easy to to install. If we are on here, we can just copy and paste this, and we need to add this to to a binrc file let's do that quickly let's create a new binrc because there's nothing there okay so one thing we need to do when we paste code from from the clipboard is to set paste now we can insert the code now we can paste the code as it sh should be this is something that I, I have on my dot files already. I have a, a mapping to 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 trigger that so it's easier when you are working and and you just want to to paste on quickly paste some code. But since this is a fresh install, I don't have that here. So the next thing we need we want to do is remove this some examples here. And we want to install this plugin called Beam Prettier. That's basically the the one 
we need for beam I'm going to copy this line but this is for another plugin manager but we can just modify this should be like this now let's run plugin install to install these plugins it didn't work let's source this so it gets loaded and now it works uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about how bundle works the plugin manager check out my other video but this is not in the scope of this video so so now we should have uh, Beam Prayer installed um, but if you see this line this this command here is this this is a limitation of a bundle at the moment it doesn't really run these post install commands so we need to do that manually uh, in this in this machine we don't have yarn by default so we 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 can either use yarn or we can use m m npm um as if you don't know yarn is basically a, another package uh, manager for javascript is it's, it's kind of a little of improvement over uh, npm so let's let's install that um, let's copy and paste some codes from the from the jar is ins from the jar website uh, this is to add the key and to add the the source list um, now let's run the package install the package I want to install this, yes. I will then use, I will then install this Node.js package, but I, I, I like to use uh, MBM, but this is just for uh, quickly using Jarm. So we should have Jarm start by now. Okay, so we need to go to the to the deer where the plugin is should be in bundle and be in prettier and here we can see there's this package.json so now we can run jar install to install that these dependencies sorry it's not jam it's jar uh, okay so now we have jar we have the dependencies for the plugin and the next thing we need to do is open bi let's open some javascript file let's open this now this is minify it well we already fixed this one but let's see so if I run prettier here, it should work. Okay, it work. As you can see by default is in this computer, in this machine is using two spaces. So, okay, but we don't want to run prettier like that. We want to, to make it work when we save the file. So the next thing we need to do is to update or, or BNRC and add this line here we are using being 8 so we can use this one this basically will tell uh, beam to 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 send that to send the file to to this all this all the files with this extension will be handled by by prettier so basically if we are using any of these extensions, uh, Prettier will take care of the code and format it and and give it back to to Beam, something like that. So let's add this line here. 
save it and now it should open this file again let's mess up this formatting save and it works so that's how you can use prettier with BIM if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to click on the like icon and on the subscribe button thanks for watching bye